What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We are the Distorted Theorist, and today, Peter. Oh man, Peter, this is critical I, role dropped it on us. Uh, well, yeah, we knew there was something coming because there was there was a little tease on it Instagram was a yeah, yeah, for yeah, yeah, like yeah. like the AWOL Nation or something like that. Vox Machina, the legend of season three on mm -hmm. Amazon Prime, is about to hit us on October third. And I know we want to talk about it, but before we do, mm -hmm. as always, if you guys want to support the channel, all you critters out there, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and definitely leave us a comment down below your experience with Critical Role, Vox Machina, or Campaign 2, or Campaign 3, or anything D&D related. Peter, what are we getting into with Season 3? I don't know, because <laughs> um, when I was when I was uh, listening to this on the podcast, the Critical Role podcast, I only got so far, and then it was... Because it was Geek and Sundry, mm -hmm, and that's the whole mm -hmm. thing. So then I wasn't able to find it, and I gave up, and I started going with Campaign 2, which I didn't get very far in, and then Campaign 3 started. Yeah. Which so, I took on very heavily. Yes. I, I, got, I got to, like, the 50th episode of that. Um, well, I mean, Campaign 3 was m really and truly my introduction to Critical Role. Mm. The team, Matt Mercer, his crew, um, because of you guys and our good friends Matt and Zach, brought me in on it. Um, but then I was told by you and others to go back and watch Campaign 1, mm. But the show started coming out, and then I just more or less got into the animated part of it, more so than the listening, but I'm now catching up on the listening. But I know you had a chance to get to it before I did way back when. Mm. So when did you start listening? Like, you know, how did you get into oh it that God, way? How far did was, you get? I got to pretty much where season two of Vox Machina ended. Okay. We're, we're getting into territory now that I'm not really sure. Actually, I'm not even sure how much of the Chroma Conclave I was involved with. I remember... Grog getting his his vestige, mm -hmm. um, which is where we're kind of at. There's, I think, yeah. There's a couple. I think there's a couple vestiges. left to get, and I mean, Thordak is still living large right now, yep. where we last left off. So I think they're going to need the vestiges to. Well, all of them, I assume, is where we're mm -hmm. going with this to take down the big bad. But they still got a few dragons to take out. So just a few. Uh, I, listen, I don't, I want to know where this is going, and I think there's only one way for us to find out, and that is to watch the trailer for The Legend of Vox Machina Season 3 on Amazon Prime right now. The future is frightening. It's a future which hasn't yet been. Oh, this is where they get it. Everything's going to start falling Vox apart. Machina. Your world will be destroyed. I don't have to come back. This can't be happening. That's the cool part. If we want to save it, we have to go to hell. Buckle the fuck up. What hell? We shouldn't be here. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> so this off, we're gonna need all kinds of miracles. Oh Lord. Okay, so I. Oh, would... what is that? I don't know. What is that thing? As long as you can. <laughs> that looks like a massive death. That's vestiges. That's the word I. Is it werewolf? Oh. I'm an even bigger one. <laughs> oh, that's right. Ready? No, but do it anyway. Oh, they're teaming up with the powers again, like they did in season one. I'm ready to die. These powers combined. The people I love. We have to believe it's going to be all right. Whoa, the neck. And if it isn't, no, then nothing matters. Oh, who's in the casket? You are now bound for eternity. They got some plush chairs in this bitch. <laughs> it's okay to be scared. We can face anything if we're together. Boy, you yeah, you can. can catch us, Dingle Dick? <laughs> Maybe don't oh, yeah. mock the murder man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the Raven Feather style. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, okay. Let's unpack. Let's unpack. They're short. That looks dark. Well, yes, and this is this is this is a realm that I'm not. Break it say. down for him. Break it down. I for don't. Him. I don't know what to break it down is because this is a realm, literally, that I did wasn't aware of it. Like I, when I finished really getting into mm -hmm. campaign one, mm -hmm. it was the conclave basically showed up. Mm -hmm. And that was it. So I don't know anything beyond that. So this is all new, like going to hell, fighting whatever the hell. I that don't know what that mask thing, thing was. was. But I mean, the thing is also is like, obviously the Chroma Clan claim, and again, I'm in the midst of both the show and the actual critical uh, Geek and Sundry season one or what campaign one, sorry. 
Um, but the Chroma Conclave obviously was so dangerous that they felt it necessary to stretch it out over two seasons, which I guess shows the sheer devastation or danger well, of Thordak and his minions, we'll call it. From from campaign one, like the biggest, we, we've covered the biggest things, mm -hmm. really and truly. Mm -hmm. It was the Briarwoods. Oh, which and is And then we get to the Chroma Conclave. Class. And then, like, I don't really know where it ends. I know there's a part in the future where, like, it's yeah, the we, hunt for Grog or the search for Grog. I don't know. Yeah. And I do know who the big bad is, but I don't really want to spoil it here because you guys have told me whatever. Um, there was a casket. I want to touch on that for a second. I don't know, but are, and if you know, please don't spoil it. But, like, are we going to... I don't know. That are we a, losing a member here? I don't know. That could be a vision. I don't... I don't believe so, but maybe. And I well, can't. they had the raven feathers too. You know, at the very end, they were just floating there. But we know from campaign three. Mm, I know. So uh, no spoilers, it, but I'm just uh, well. Okay, the vestiges obviously were front and center in a lot of this trailer as well. Yeah. You've seen the bow and arrow getting juiced up. The uh, titan, titan mitts, titan gloves. Titan mitts. I, I keep forgetting what the name of, but I know I can't remember what that he took off his uncle, which was masterclass in the second season uh, uh, <laughs> yeah uh but i don't think and i know scanlan got the sword so who are we waiting on even for vestiges i'm pretty sure percy Pike, percy and maybe keyleth no she got the far shari power is that her vestige I, uh, again uh, we're learning off the cuff because we haven't got there because i haven't watched season two since it ended like i need to rewatch. right it. right um the other thing is as people who watch critical role and play in our own campaign as well what do you think is better for two people like us now? We're watching the show perhaps before we're ever going to actually hear it as it was originally aired. Do you think that's going to make things better for us, hinder us? Well, you know, it's like watching a movie before you read the book. You it's know? a spoiler before a spoiler. Like one of them is going to spoil the other. Mm. Now, obviously, there's going to be changes. Well, it changes to a point, but mm. in terms of animation, like this is eight episodes, which the probably the runtime of all of these mm. episodes is still shorter than one episode of Critical Role. hundred percent, because those are like four hours. Four so, and, and, and I mean, if you get to, I don't know, like let's say the Chroma Conclave is 28 episodes. Sure. So that's uh, eight, oh, it's a lot. It's a lot of hours <laughs> where we're going to get through in four hours that whole, you know. Listen, I'm just, I keep going back to as well that I feel the, it, the sheer power of role-playing games and Critical Role, D&D, it's come to the surface so much in the last few years, maybe due mm. to pandemic. I don't know. Um, no. But it's got new people like me brought in. There's and a number now, of things. Like well, for Critical sure. Role, Dimension 20, Stranger Things. I know I can mm. always bring that up. But Stranger Things, the core of it is all around D&D. &D. Right. I mentioned Dimension 20 because Critical Role isn't the only one. Oh, Critical 100%. Role is one of the 100%. first. But Dimension and the one 20, we're most familiar Paul with, Schumer, obviously. there's another one I'm trying to watch and I can't remember, but I know that Torvex is one of the I'm, There's also a new one, which I haven't caught up on yet, but I do follow it on YouTube. It's called Natural Six. I think they're up and coming, doing their own mm. thing right now. Shout out to you guys if you ever see this video. And um, then Baldur's Gate 3, when that released across PC and yeah, consoles. Yeah, and, and so I mean, getting... as you're, you're seeing at the end of the screen, Amazon Prime has picked this up. That's that's mm. that's a big feat for any player who ever started at the bottom. Mighty Nine. So they're working on animating Mighty Nine. And they've also already announced that Critical Role Season or Campaign 3 will eventually be one. Mm. So, in essence, it's a really, really good time to be a DD fan player enjoy like because that's the thing is because it's, it's a world and it's on a top lifestyle. of that like we've been dealing with the fifth edition for well a number of years Ooh, now and i was right more, but now this fall they're releasing D D one which kind of takes a little bit of the fifth edition and just kind of like condenses mm. it and stretches this things and makes it even more accessible for more people to get into the ranger and the monk, we're getting some buffs. Oh, <laughs> we're getting my some buffs. Monk is getting some buffs. <laughs> and we're actually took a summer break, but we're getting back to our arcane mm. campaign. Sorry, in just and I gotta, a week I gotta stop it. being so serious. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing, I'm too, I'm, I'm role playing my character really well, yeah. but I'm too serious. I gotta start letting loose. I know, with, I know, with Sarah. Similar to on the channel, we're just gonna start letting loose, ladies and gentlemen. Thank yeah. you so much for joining us for our trailer reaction for The Legend of Vox Machina season three on Amazon Prime. As always, if you want to support our channel, and we do appreciate it, if you would just take a second to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and leave a comment down below. If you're playing in a campaign, if you're watching Critical Role, watching Vox Machina, or just enjoying role playing in general. And with that, I am the Rio Jossie. I'm Sarah, the Fire Genasi Monk. And like we always <laughs> say around here, keep, keep it real. real.